Who will step into the shoes of Gladstone, Churchill, Thatcher and Blair and become the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? The South decides. With studio presentation from Ross Perkins, Lucy Wilson, Zena Alabadi and me, Olivia Martin. This is our election night coverage. Has David Cameron done enough to rule in his own right? Is Ed Miliband's whirlwind campaign enough to win him the biggest prize in British politics? Can Nick Clegg hang on to enough seats to remain a decisive influence? And what are the new players, UKIP, the Greens and the SNP? Polls show them with more support than ever. But will that translate into seats, power and influence? Could this turn out to be Westminster's very own Game of Thrones? Even in years when the Conservatives do badly UK-wide, they have in the past taken the vast majority of seats in the rural and suburban South. Labour never expects to get large numbers of seats in this region, but the ones they do hold are vital to their chances overall. These are the battleground seats, where a swing of less than 10% could see a seat change hands, or where sitting MPs are otherwise vulnerable. Labour will be looking to knife-edge Brighton, where swings of less than 2% could deliver free vital seats at the expense of the Conservatives and the Greens. The Lib Dems held on to Eastleigh in a bitterly fought 2013 by-election. It is a seat the Conservatives would expect to win, but a large turnout for UKIP, who came second, split the right of centre vote. Southampton is Labour's only parliamentary power base in the South, and this gives the city's two seats huge national importance. Wins here would see David Cameron well on the way to an overall I'll be majority. The progress of the Conservatives all night. The Lib Dems are under pressure throughout the region, but will they still hold the balance of power in the morning? The Greens will be a wild card in the 2015 election. I'll be tracking their progress throughout the night. Make sure you join us live at 